A Texas man will receive the Medal of Honor on his father's behalf in March at a special White House ceremony. His father, one of 24 veterans to be so honored after congressional review of their bravery in combat. But, as Andrew shows us, for the son of an American hero, his 45-year wait was, well, so much longer in many ways. One day, Richard Conde answered a very important phone call. He says, yes, I'm, this is President. I said, I'm, is this for real? He said, yes, sir. Don't I sound like Barack Obama? And he said, I said, yeah, you sound just like him. He said, well, that's because I am. I'm sitting here at the Oval Office, and uh, I'm calling you on behalf of the, the military, Pentagon, but on behalf of Congress, and on behalf of my, the office of the president. Uh, it's long overdue. Forty-five years have passed since Richard's father, Staff Sergeant Feliz Conde Falcone, a Puerto Rican native, was killed in combat in South Vietnam. Richard was three when he died. For the majority of his life, he felt fatherless. But unbeknownst to Richard, for nearly 20 years, his father's radio operator and best friend, Les, was searching to get in touch with Richard. And thanks to today's technology, they finally connected. Les is my hero, okay? Um... Les gave me and um, my dad to me at, what, nine years ago, when I was probably 39, 40 years old. That's when I finally got to meet my dad. Les told Richard about the jokester and prankster his dad was, but the very first thing Les told Richard was how his father died. You read it and you're, you're imagining this television type motion picture, you know, jumping up on the bunker with grenades and running through the jungle, taking out bunker after bunker single-handedly and, and it just makes you warm and know, wow, that's, that's my father, that's my dad. For Richard, 45 years was worth the wait for his father's story to be told. Les has given me some of that, but uh, Washington is going to be the culmination and the final full circle. As I mentioned to you today, February 24th uh, is his birthday and he would have been 76. So, pretty cool. Full circle. <laughs> We'll wrap things up right after this.